almost anything you can imagine uh, that you would want, uh, we might sell it. This is a industrial restaurant, two basin uh, stainless steel sink. And this would be delivered via like a scheduled delivery. We're here in an Amazon Fulfillment Center in Fall River, Massachusetts, south of Boston. What's special about this location is that it handles big and bulky items. One of the weirdest things that I had never seen before was a 70 pound bean bag. Uh, this bean bag was so large, it had to go on its own pallet. Rich Hanna, who runs this fulfillment center, showed us some of the quirky and heavy items Amazon ships from there, including this javelin. Like you would still offer two day shipping for something like that? Yeah, this is not too big. So this is the pool stool. You put it in your pool and you sit on it. That's exactly what it is. And there's a table coming soon and we will sell it. This is a kegerator for a home brewer. It's got some cooling coils to chill your beer. Life size, Supreme Edition Shadow Trooper costume. This would be a custom box. Lightsaber barbecue tongs. I did not know this existed. And there's a button that gives them lightsaber sound effects. Another section of the warehouse includes the custom packaging machines, where teams of workers measure and cut packages specifically for items that don't fit the regular sized boxes. It's stuff that ordinarily doesn't fit in any of the preset boxes we have. So after the picker has picked the item and the first person on the line measures the item with a measuring tape or this preset measuring measurements there. It's usually a lot of bigger stuff or weirdly shaped objects. So we see a lot of grills, car seats, we see a lot of those. The custom boxing machine runs 24 seven and can make up to 200 boxes an hour. We wanna be that one place you can go to find anything that you want. Uh, and if there's somebody out there that wants to buy an Easter Island statue, we want to be able to sell it to them. Amazon selling all this random stuff may seem a little strange, but it's part of e-commerce companies' efforts to get you to buy anything and everything online. This is Ben Fox Rubin for CNET.com.